outside, then melted under value to Isabella Blue Chip. I... Have you ever wondered what happens to horses after they've run their last race? Coming through, but an ideal guy will lead all of the way. Ideal guy, first, second. This is five. the story of one very lucky racehorse, Ideal Guy. But everyone knows him as Andy, and he's obviously very much loved, as you're about to discover. Andy was my racehorse, and I bought him for racing, and um, for a number of reasons. He was very well bred. Um, his bloodline had showed great speed. The last time he went to the races, I don't go to the races myself very often, my husband does, but I went to the races one day to, to watch Andy run, and I went into the stables and Andy was very nervous about being there and I realised that Andy wasn't really very happy being a racehorse. Okay. So, um, call me silly, but I decided I was going to sack him. Okay, so now Andy's out of a job, but why? It's because I didn't want my horses to feel that they were being pressured into doing something that they really didn't like to do. So, putting him in the paddock for a couple of months, um, I finally talked my, my husband into letting us donate the horse to some people called Raising the Standards. But that's only the beginning of the Unharnessed Potential story, an initiative of Horses and People magazine. Maxine's the managing director. It's a project which documents the process of retraining standard bred racehorses so that more of them can be successfully rehomed after they retire from racing. Why are they doing it? Seems far too few people know just how good standard breds are, minus their harness. So basically, uh, the standard bred is, is actually bred predominantly for harness racing. Um, and, and nowadays, there's a big focus on actually rehoming them when they do finish racing. Okay. Yeah, so uh, there's myths out there that standard breds are only good for harness racing, but uh, the more people that get them out and about actually are discovering that you can have so much fun with them and there's so many different varieties. So how's track performer Ideal Guy transforming into Andy the all-round performer? Well, he's getting a little help from Alistair McLean, senior trainer at the Australian Equine Behaviour Centre. Um, so he arrived, um, he came down all the way from Queensland um, on a truck. Um, so he was, very, he was very nervous in the beginning, very new, long trip. Um, but once he'd settled in, we kind of got to see the real horse that we'd gotten given to train or retrain. And um, he was generally a very nervous, a nervous type of horse. Um, not because he'd been hurt or anything like that, but just in his, he's very sensitive to pressure and things like that. Um, he still is that nervy type, but I guess we've harnessed it in a way. Harnessed it, eh? Nice one, Alistair. But it seems Andy really has changed, showing off a very different side of the recent Equitana with ringmaster Dr Andrew McLean, who just happens to be Alistair's dad. This has been a really big move. This horse could pace. He was so wide for pacing. So I'll show you in a minute how Alistair and Ricky trained him not to pace and to trot. He's got such a nice trot. He cannot, this horse can hardly not look like he doesn't go forward. He's so good behind. He's just remarkable. From harness horse to happy horse in just 10 months. Um, so he's a totally, I mean, at home, it's in this situation right now, he's a little bit more nervy. He's in a stable, but certainly at home now, he's a really, he understands the process, um, the day-to-day -day routine that we go through. Um, he's very comfortable, very confident, um, and, and is really quite a, quite, a, quite a delight of a horse to train, really. Um, certainly a lot different than when he came. So apart from giving Andy a new job away from the harness racing track, you've probably noticed a pretty classy painting of him. And it's up for grabs. OK. Um, this is a beautiful uh, painting done of Andy, and we've also got some smaller ones around the wall. Uh, um, and what it is, it's a raffle that we've put together. With Andy's retraining, what we're trying to do is to um, put together all of this information into a book. So when somebody does uh, take a standard bread off the track, we're going to be able to give them a toolbox. One of the biggest problems with standard breads, people have this attitude that they don't think they can be trained out of the pace, right. when in reality they're a very, very trainable horse. So the book will be freely available to people that take a, a standard bread off the track. So what we're doing is we've got this raffle here, and the raffle is to raise money to get that book published. 
Um, so once that's all done yep. and we've got the money, off we go. While one lucky person will eventually win this beautiful painting of Andy, the real winner will be Andy and ultimately his new owners at his forever home. And the future? Um, that's hard to say. I mean, he's progressed so much in the in the eight to ten months that I've had him um, for a standard bread he's extremely talented for for dressage and things like that so I c- you could see him as a as a potentially a, a dressage horse going I know you might not know but advanced level dressage or something like that you never you never know what he could be doing maybe he'll be stuck at lower levels because he doesn't have the strength it's hard to say but certainly if he continues on this path um, he should certainly excel a lot further than where he is now, which is about novice level dressage. Hmm. Sounds like he's in really good hands. Yeah, thank you very much. He is. He's a nice guy. To find out more about Andy, just visit his Facebook page, Ideal Guy Unharnessed. And don't forget to grab some raffle tickets to win the fabulous painting of Andy or pick up a copy of the December 2014 Horses and People magazine.